Yeah, it was, a, it was a penal colony, so anyone in England who had committed even a petty crime, they uh, they moved them out to Australia once they started colonising it. And you've only, you've, only, you've only stolen a loaf of bread, so you know, at the end of the day, it became the lucky country for a lot of those folks because all of a sudden, they once they got out of jail or out of wherever, they had great opportunity. Hi, I'm Nathan Potts and I'm the field pastor uh, for Insight for Living Australia, New Zealand and the South Pacific. I do that part time uh, because I'm also a pastor of a church based in Melbourne, Australia. Well, we've been in Australia for 37 years. We have uh, three uh, full-time employees. It's a, it's a very small ministry team, but a, a very effective team. I started life in, uh, in the packaging industry. Actually, I left school at the age of 18 and 19 and went on a uh, management cadetship. Pretty much spent 21 years uh, in, in that industry. And uh, throughout that time, um, my wife and myself, we've been uh, serving in, in lay leadership inside local churches. Uh, first came uh, familiar with uh, Chuck's work when I read his book, The Grace Awakening. Actually, when uh, Julie and I got married in 1990, in the first couple of years, we, we said, OK, at some point in time, we'd like to go into full-time ministry. And uh, the Lord <laughs> honoured those prayers. And in, in 2007, it became very clear that it was time to move out of the corporate world and into, into ministry. So we spent the next three and a half years in uh, Portland, Oregon. Did my Master of Divinity there. And then uh, moved back to Australia. And it was at that point in time we started getting involved with um, Insight for Living in 2013. For Australia, I, I take care of looking after the theological content of what we promote. Uh, and a large part of what I do also is to uh, interact with listeners. We sort of take care of the South Pacific as well. So you've got the islands in there as well. You've got uh, Samoa, Fiji, and you have New Zealand. So inside those particular islands, you've got a very large Pacific island culture. It's uh, becoming increasingly more difficult, um, even from a freedom of speech perspective in our country. You know, we're told in God's word that the gospel is an affront to a lot of people. Our culture is incredibly works-based as well. Um, you know, sure we have the postmodern mindset going through, but there's also these traditional values more from a, a works-based mentality that are there. So we have both those strands that we need to try and, uh, try and meet, and only God's work can meet those things. So Australia's a really multicultural society. Uh, I think in Melbourne, uh, where our ministry base is, it's reflective of the country. So we have an incredible opportunity. Because we have this, the world at our feet, um, I think the challenge for us is to, to tap into that and use what we're doing around the world globally and using that back in Australia, especially actually with um, if Mandarin came online because we do have a lot of Asian folks and the younger folks are, are learning English and we have that opportunity to, to spread the good news in that way. We're, we are independent financially, so that's a, that's a good thing. Uh, so as a ministry, we are funded locally. We have been that way for about 10 years, but that's always an ongoing, ongoing uh, challenge. Uh, but the Lord has been incredibly faithful. Our major cost is being on the radio, uh, being on the public radio, so pray for that. Pray for, pray for, as we've talked about, we need to be praying how we connect into this the next generation, especially the multicultural generation, that's part of our, as you said, part of our Vision 195. We have the world at our doorstep. The third prayer request would be for those pastors in churches, for the networks that we are involved with, like we're involved with most major denominational networks through our office, whether it be Baptist, whether it be Evangelical, Anglican, and that we have greater opportunity in that space.